and welcome back ladies and gentlemen to The Outer Worlds. My name is Camel, and today I'll be showing you how to acquire the unique light armor helmet known as the Purple Berry Police Helmet. It's an interesting find and one I think will find some use for with its rather unique effect. And if you find it early enough on in the game, it will definitely be your helmet of choice to protect your noggin. And if none of the above, it will serve as a lovely trophy for your collection of unique items. Now along with the acquisition, we'll also be opening a detective case on its stats and having a good, although short, look at those. Now a timestamp for the overview can be found down in the description along with a link to my Outer Worlds playlist where you can find my other Outer Worlds videos and my social media links down there as well. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. So the first thing we'll need to do to get the purple berry helmet is to go to our ship's navigation terminal and travel to the planet Monarch. Despite getting a prompt that it's dangerous and blah blah, to quote my mate who said to his boss after being offered 26 days of back to back 14 hour shifts, I ain't no bitch, let's do it. Now enthusiasm aside, fair warning, this place, Cascadia landing pad on Monarch is pretty dangerous. I came here at level 8 and I had a pretty tough time facing down with the ferocious foes infesting the town. So come prepared and don't take any of these encounters lightly. Once the area has been cleared of foul beasts and demon spawn alike, it's time to get this helmet. So from the landing pad, we'll need to head to the western part of the town where there is a small building that says customs on it. We'll want to walk around the back and enter the door. Inside, we'll find this large bin on the right. Within this, if we scroll to the bottom of its items, we'll find what we came here for, the unique Purple Berry Police Helmet. Grab it and be careful not to juice it. So, the Purple Berry Police Helmet is an Aramid Ballistics item. Its flavor text reads, Aramid Ballistics Light Helmet, customized by Rizzo for their Purple Berry Police. It's got a value of 84, which is superior to the standard Aramid Ballistics Light Helmet's value of 6.3. It's more than 10 times more valuable. And now we'll have a look at the stats of the unique item compared with the standard variation. First thing is the skill bonus. Instead of giving 5 plus to determination, it's been modified for the Purple Berry Police and reduces the costs of bribes by 10%. I'll talk more on that in a minute. Both are classed as light armor, but the Purple Berry Police Helmet's maximum condition is 10,000, which is two and a half times better than the standard variant's 4,000. And the Purple Berry provides 16 armor to all damage types, physical, plasma, corrosive, shock, and N-ray. This is literally four times the armor rating of the standard Aramid Ballistics Light Helmet. So when you find this helmet, it might just be the best one you've come across so far. And if you braid the Cascadia landing pad straight after Terra 2 and manage to get this as I did, you'll have a very nice helmet that will serve you for the coming levels. Now in regards to long term use, it will get replaced in regards to its stats, but it is a very handy piece to have in your inventory or your ship to make an appearance when you know that you'll need to bribe your way out of something so you might as well save 10% while you're at it if all it takes is equipping a helmet. Now the only time that I've encountered a bribe in this game, uh, it cost 1200 bits, so saving 120 bits is pretty nice if all it takes is, you know, changing the helmet. Now I do also believe that the Purple Berry Police Helmet has a unique color palette, as the standard Aramid Ballistics Light Helmet has this yellow coloration obviously completely different to this one. Likely the color was also modified to suit the purple berry police at the Rizzo plant, just as its skill bonus was. Overall, it's a very cool helmet. And there you have it ladies and gentlemen, I've been Camel and this has been my guide for the unique Aramid Ballistics Light Helmet, the Purple Berry Police Helmet. I do hope this video helped you out and if it did, you'll be very interested in checking out my other Outer Worlds videos that I've already done. Links to them can be found down in the description. Now down there in the old description, you can also find links to my social media. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and if you would like to support the channel in a more personal way, you can become a patron on Patreon or a sponsor of the channel right here on YouTube. As I'm sure you know, all of my time and energy goes into making these videos that I create for you to enjoy, so your support is most appreciated and welcomed in any and all forms. So thank you very much for watching, thank you for supporting the channel, and I'll see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there soon.